Well, bus drivers do not want to see automated buses in Columbus or anywhere else in Ohio for that matter. This according to the international president of the Transportation Workers Union of America. As our host, Ohio State House newsroom reporter Jason Aubrey tells us, the union president threatened a strike if state leaders try and force this issue. Tomorrow we'll be getting a look at a slow speed driverless shuttle service coming to the streets of Columbus. And bus drivers are not too happy about the prospect of potentially losing their jobs to a computer. And they say they have concerns over public safety without a driver present. Our folks are not coming off these buses for the sake of the, of the workers and the working families that ride these buses and for the sake of our own members. We, are not com we will take strike action in Columbus, Ohio before we come off these buses. The international president of the Transport Workers Union of America, John Samuelson, was in New York on 9-11 and says no computer could do what those bus drivers did that day. In the midst of flames and carnage, bus operators went off the road, off their route, in ways that a computer could never do. Um, using, again, their instincts, their street smarts to evacuate people to safety. Those street smarts have been shown here in Columbus, too. Daryl Neal has driven a Coda bus for 10 years. He noticed a suspicious package left behind on his bus one day, something an automated system may not be capable of. It's always about public safety to us. You know, we care about our community, we care about these people, our passengers, and our family members that are getting on these buses. Neil also says automated systems cannot intervene if there is a physical threat or medical emergency on the bus or help the public when they ask for directions or keep an eye on its surroundings when it drives. Today, the union asked both gubernatorial candidates if they believed the operators should stay on board and in the driver's seat. Now, Mike DeWine's campaign did not provide an emphatic yes or no answer, while Richard Cordray's response was a definitive yes. Their full responses can be found on our website. Local for you in Columbus, Jason Aubrey, NBC4.